Alright, hello everyone, welcome back to my Black Ops 2 playthrough. We're going to continue with online game modes with Hardcore Search and Destroy. Always fun. Always fun. It's, in my opinion, even better than regular Search and Destroy. Or Core Search and Destroy, as they call it. Ooh, Carrier. Don't know if I like that. I think Carrier so far is my least favorite map. Simply because, A, it's small, which, again, all the maps in this game are small, but... Small and open. That's a that's a bad combination. I prefer the tight corridors of other maps. I like being able to have a, a wall to my back at all times, and you don't really get that uh, with this map. There's some areas that you can get that in, but there's usually the there is one high traffic area that's like that. But for the most part. It's all pretty open. Protect the objectives. Is A in here? No, A is not in here, so let's just go ahead and toss that out. So with Bounds of Betty's, what I like to do is just toss the things at the targets and then just kind of go from there. I may have just saved that guy. Probably gonna get it on the jet. No, I didn't. Awesome. I don't know what to do though. Don't know where to go. They're gonna come behind me right here. I don't know. Is that you shooting? Someone over here? Yeah, look at that. Wait, which one is it? It's this one. That person have a bomb? Not appear to be the case. What's that? Ah, I found you. You can't hide from me. Man, did you see that kick? Like crap. Also, I was really worried that that would be a teammate where the green name just wasn't appearing above them. So that's why I took a took a second or two to take the shot. Alright, let's follow you. Some Carter killer or cartel killer? Cartel killer. That makes more sense than Carter killer, I guess. Following you. Just don't die. What? Oh, I just wish my bouncing Betty then. Weights. It's like comfortable chairs. Yeah, stay here for a second. Are you going to make a decision anytime soon? I only got one guy left. I should go find him. Which isn't very intelligent, but, you know. That's what I do. Right in here. Got him. Let's see where this guy was. Oh, he was inside there a bit. That's where I was thinking. Oh, wait, no, there he is. It's the same spot as the last time. Alright, well, I'm... Oh, I, see? See what I mean? I'm just trying to switch my, switch my gun. It's a stupid thing to put the button on. I've always done that in every Call of Duty. It's never been a problem because they never had that show profile button. But, you know, it'd be okay if it was, like, square, you know? Why is it not square? That's a good guy one. Actually, are we the good guys? We're actually the bad guys. Oh, how'd I miss? Such crap. 
I swear, knifing in this game just doesn't agree with me. I get gypped out of what should be good knife kills, and then other people have ridiculous lucky kills on me with knives. They say that they've taken lunge out, which is not entirely true. I've seen some lunges. Not a, a, with the ballistic knives, the ballistic knives or ballistic knife, I guess there's only one. But there's a definite lunge with that. And I think that's actually supposed to be the case. They've never said otherwise. Wow, that's cool. I've never seen a hunter killer uh, kill cam before. But I, I've seen I've seen lunges with non ballistic knife, like just regular knives before, and that bugs me. It was like that game fail I put up the other day. Of course, the other person was having just as much trouble, but you know, just sitting there trying to knife each other. And I I slowed it down while I was recording in theater. And I'm pretty sure my knife went right through his head at one point, but whatever. Alright, so we did not get much XP there. It was kind of a short game, but great kill-death ratio. Well, anyway, that does it for me for now, so I want to thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time.